The Darien Gap is a formidable natural barrier located between Central and South America, characterized by its challenging geography and rich ecology. This region has played a significant role in shaping human migration patterns and has had profound effects on the genetic diversity of human populations that traversed it. Ecologically, the Darien Gap is one of the most biodiverse regions in the world and serves as a natural bridge between North and South America, allowing for a unique mix of flora and fauna from both continents. The Isthmus of Panama, particularly the Darien Gap, presents one of the most challenging terrains in the world. This narrow stretch of land, only 100 kilometers, roughly 60 miles wide, forms the only natural land connection between North and South America. Unlike the open plains of North America or the arid highlands of the Andes, the Darien Gap is a region of swamps, dense rainforests and rugged mountains where survival requires significant adaptation. Indeed, for early humans, it was a formidable obstacle. Torrential rains, high humidity, and an abundance of insects such as mosquitoes made life in this region incredibly difficult. The jungle, teeming with jaguars, venomous snakes, and other predators, also presented constant dangers. For migrating human groups, these natural hazards slowed movement, restricted population sizes, and created isolated communities. Because of these geographic barriers, only a limited number of individuals successfully crossed into South America, significantly shaping the genetic diversity of future populations. The Panamanian bottleneck hypothesis is a key factor in understanding human migration into South America. The narrow land corridor and difficult environment likely created genetic constraints, limiting the number of individuals who successfully passed through and shaping the genetic diversity of South American indigenous populations. Genetic evidence from ancient and modern DNA supports a single migration wave, with a clear signature of a population bottleneck followed by rapid expansion into South America. A genetic bottleneck occurs when a population undergoes a drastic reduction in size, limiting the genetic diversity passed on to future generations. The challenging passage through Panama created such a bottleneck as only a small group of individuals successfully made the journey southward. This would explain why indigenous populations in South America exhibit lower genetic diversity compared to their North American counterparts. Evidence suggests that humans reach South America very rapidly, potentially by 16,000 to 14,000 years ago, with sites like Monte Verde in Chile indicating a surprisingly early presence. This raises the question of how migration occurred, whether through coastal routes along the Pacific coastline or through an overland corridor, both of which would have required passage through Panama. Few early sites have been found in Panama itself, possibly due to preservation issues in the humid tropical environment, but genetic evidence suggests that populations did not linger long in the region. Instead, they seem to have moved through relatively quickly, supporting the idea of a migration bottleneck rather than long-term settlement. Founder effects, a phenomenon in which a small initial group establishes a new population, further compounded the genetic impact. As groups branched out and settled in new areas of South America, they carried with them only a fraction of the genetic diversity of their ancestors. Over time, genetic drift, which are random fluctuations in gene frequencies, further shaped these populations, creating distinct genetic signatures in different regions of the continent. Recent genomic studies support this hypothesis, revealing that South American indigenous groups share strong genetic links to a small ancestral population that passed through the bottleneck at Panama. A genetic bottleneck occurs when a population undergoes a sharp reduction in size, reducing genetic diversity in subsequent generations. If only a small number of individuals successfully passed through Panama into South America, they would have carried only a subset of the genetic variation present in their northern ancestors. In fact, recent genetic studies using ancient DNA and modern indigenous genomes indicate a single wave of migration into South America. The most common mitochondrial haplogroups show patterns consistent with a population passing through a bottleneck before rapidly expanding across the South American continent. One notable recent study, Genomic Evidence for Ancient Human Migration Routes Along South America's Atlantic Coast, analyzed ancient DNA from remains found in northeast Brazil, Lagoa Santa, and Uruguay. The findings indicated that these populations were descended from a single migratory wave that had passed through Central America, reinforcing the idea that the Darien Gap functioned as a bottleneck. 
While the physical challenges of the Darien Gap played a crucial role in shaping migration, the environment may have been an equally significant force. The Younger Dryas, a dramatic cooling event that occurred roughly 12,900 to 11,700 years ago, transformed environments across the Americas. Temperatures plummeted, ice sheets expanded, and megafauna populations that had once thrived in North America began to dwindle. This sudden climatic shift had far-reaching consequences for human survival and migration patterns. In North America, the cooling led to increased aridity in some regions and harsher conditions in others. Many large mammal species, such as mammoths, mastodons, and giant ground sloths, began to vanish, either due to climatic stress or overhunting by humans. As a result, some human groups would have been forced to move south in search of more stable environments, accelerating their migration through Panama and into South America. Indeed, the timing of the Younger Dryas aligns closely with archaeological evidence of early human settlements in South America, suggesting that climate played a role in shaping these movements. Once in South America, humans encountered vastly different ecosystems, from the high-altitude Andes to the tropical Amazon. The genetic bottleneck caused by the Darien Gap meant that these early settlers carried a limited set of genetic adaptations with them. However, their ability to rapidly adapt to new environments speaks to the resilience and ingenuity of early humans. One of the ongoing debates in the study of early human migration through the Americas is whether people primarily traveled along coastal routes or inland through the rainforests and highlands. Some researchers argue that coastal migration was the dominant strategy, as it would have provided access to abundant marine resources and more navigable terrain. Others contend that groups travelled overland through Panama, enduring its harsh conditions before spreading into various regions of South America. If coastal migration was the primary route, it might explain why some South American populations exhibit genetic continuity with ancient North American coastal groups. However, the Darien's geography suggests that at least some inland migration must have occurred, as evidenced by archaeological sites found deeper within the continent. Regardless of the exact route, the genetic evidence remains clear. A small founding population moved through Panama, leaving a lasting imprint on the genetic diversity of South American indigenous groups. Another study, which examined ancient human fossils from Panama and South America, also revealed migration patterns for these early Americans across the continent, as well as Australasian indications in the remains of one Panamanian fossil. Interestingly, the genomes of a 1,000-year-old human fossil from Panama had more Denisovan ancestral genes than Neanderthal-specific genes, but the opposite is true today for most humans all around the world, who have more Neanderthal DNA than Denisovan DNA. This individual had 80% Denisovan DNA and only 20% Neanderthal DNA as a total of all non-sapiens DNA. The increased Denisovan ancestry also appears to correspond to increased ancestry from the ancestors of the indigenous peoples of Papua and Australia, known as Australasians. In the future, it would be intriguing to determine when this Australasian heritage component arrived in the Americas and how much Denisovan and Neanderthal DNA it brings with it. There was no evidence of the Australasian signal in ancient North American remains, implying that early Australasians may have reached the Americas directly across the Pacific Ocean. Whatever the case, Australasian ancestry in the Americas is confounding because it has been recorded for isolated fossil samples separated by vast distances in location and time and lacks a clear pattern. While the findings of this study offer new light on the migrations and ancestry of these early inhabitants, they also indicate that the region's genetic history may be more complex than scientists previously thought. There is a vast Pacific Ocean between Australasia and the Americas, and we still don't understand how these ancestral genetic signals arose in Central and South America while leaving no trace in North America. The effects of the genetic bottleneck in Panama extend beyond population genetics, they also influenced culture, language, and technological development. With smaller populations, cultural innovations and complex social structures may have taken longer to develop, as fewer individuals were available to share and refine new ideas. Despite these constraints, early South American societies flourished, developing some of the most advanced civilizations of the pre-Columbian world, including the Inca. Nevertheless, many Central American domesticated foods, including avocados, tomatoes, peppers, squash, cocoa, 
beans and corn, found their way to South America. This indicates trade between the two regions, dating back many thousands of years. The journey of early humans through the Isthmus of Panama was not just a physical migration, but a transformative event that shaped the genetic, cultural, and ecological history of the Americas. The geographical bottleneck of the Darien Gap, coupled with climatic upheaval, forced a small population of migrants into South America, where they would go on to populate an entire continent. Their legacy endures in the genetic makeup of modern indigenous groups and in the archaeological record of ancient civilizations. As we uncover more evidence through genetic research and archaeology, new questions emerge. Were there multiple migration waves through Panama, or was it a single defining event? How did different groups adapt to the diverse environments they encountered in South America? What other climatic shifts influenced migration patterns? Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the incredible journey that shaped the first Americans and ultimately our own shared history. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast jungle where the dense rainforest stretches endlessly before you, the air thick with humidity and the sounds of unseen creatures echoing through the trees. Now picture yourself as one of the first humans to reach this place thousands of years ago, faced with an impenetrable wall of green. What would you do? This is the challenge that early human populations faced as they migrated southward through a geographical bottleneck that had profound genetic and cultural consequences for the peopling of the Americas. Future discoveries, both archaeological and genetic, will continue to refine our understanding of this critical migration event. That the story of human migration is one of resilience, adaptation, and survival against all odds. The bottleneck at Panama was not merely an obstacle, but a crucible that forged the genetic and cultural identities of the people who passed through it. And as we continue to explore our past, we uncover more about ourselves, where we came from, and where we are going next.